Hi, Shauna Hall. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. So bear with me and hope that technology is my friend. So um, if you're catching the replay, comment replay below so that I can come back and circle back around and say hi. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to tune in. If you are live, say hi, let me know that you can hear me. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and start bringing in um, the guest. Um, let's see, guest request, no. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Figuring out how to add a friend. Okay, so I guess she has to be a viewer first. Um, let's see. So let me invite her to be a viewer. And then once she um, comes on, I can um, invite her to jump on. So I see her. So let me see now if I can uh, do this. Bring on camera. So it says it's adding. Hopefully my wife is good. So um, I'm interviewing one of my business besties today. Hope that my dog stops barking soon. Hey. So this is hey. Sherilyn Puzz. She is an integrative nutrition health coach on my team. She has been helping so many people literally change their lives and feel incredible. So hopefully, can you hear my dog barking? Of course, as soon as I get on, she starts barking. <laughs> so tell me more about you and what you do. For sure. Well, thank you for having me. And of course, yes, if it's not the dogs, it's the children. It doesn't matter. They, they just decide they want to participate as soon as there's something yep. cool going on. So <laughs> it's, it's all good. Um, yeah. Anyway, I am, well, I'm an integrative nutrition health coach, like Shauna said, and I've been doing that for three years now. Uh, prior to that, though, I worked at a medical clinic, and I worked with a functional medicine physician. So that's kind of where a lot of my um, passions originated from. I was at the clinic for 17, I was starting my 18th year, actually. So I was around there for quite a while, and then I'm a wife and a mom of two teenagers. What are some things that you've had to deal with that actually got you where you are today? Because it's probably not just working in there that brought you to it. I believe there's some other background stuff, too. Absolutely, because I worked there for a very long time before my own health was any sort of a priority. I mean, I started there, I was in my early 20s. Um, you know, I, I, I had other things on my mind that were not uh, necessarily eating well. And I was active, but uh, certainly the nutrition very, very much was lacking. Um, but there's a few, a few things that kind of happened. Um, I mean, one was that I... I gained quite a bit of weight after I had both my kids and I was very uncomfortable and um, uh, very unhealthy. I mean, I ate, I ate chocolate covered granola bars for three meals a day, each meal with a tall glass of milk. And I served my kids the vegetables, but I didn't eat them. I mean, I would go as far as getting to the grocery store and I would buy some type of vegetables, put it in the cart, and I would buy it knowing I was going to throw it out, but I was so embarrassed by the amount of junk that went through the till, I thought I'd better offset it with like at least a head of lettuce. So <laughs> I, I was the epitome of a bad eater, and I, I, I just then started to not like myself. Uh, I didn't like who I was becoming. The, the foods I was eating were making me miserable, and, you know, I'm not happy with, with the size I was. I, I couldn't play with the kids in the way I wanted to. Um, I thought my husband shouldn't even like me because I was so overweight. Like, just 
all the mindset things that really go on. And that was really, um, really difficult. Uh, you go to get dressed in all your, what I, I called them fat clothes. Um, they just happened to be the largest size clothes I had and they were no longer fitting. And we had to get dressed for a wedding. I had nothing to wear. Um, I wore what fit, but I, I really felt that people were looking at me and I know they weren't. There was a lot of people there. Um, but really one of the biggest things was when, um, a few years back, my, my grandmother had a heart attack and my dad was rushing her up to the hospital and the hospital's about, it's about three quarters of a block from my home. And he called me and said, like, you have to get down here now. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I go, I take off running down the street and I ran past about two houses and then I had to stop because I couldn't breathe. And, and I could see them from where I was at. And I could see the nursing staff was trying to get her out of my dad's truck. And like I'm sitting at the side of the road trying to catch my breath. And, you know, my, my grandmother needs me and I can't be there because I've just, I've let myself go. And that was so hard. And, you know, eventually I got down there, but I had to walk and it took a while and really what, what hurt the most was that she was only, she was only really with it for maybe two more minutes and then she died. Like that is all the time I had with her. And if you know that's the last two minutes you're going to have with somebody sitting at the side of the road going <gasps> is not, it's not a good feeling. Like I didn't know that at the side of the road but I knew something was terribly wrong. She was in her 90s. I mean, we just don't know what life is going to bring at any point, but certainly spending huffing and puffing time and then looking back and going, you know, I felt like I failed her and I failed me and, and that hurt a lot. Yeah, completely understand that. Anybody else relate, definitely relate to all those weight, lo weight struggles not being, you know, not feeling that way. Definitely. I, I have to. Um, and, and those last few minutes that I didn't even know that see, learn something more today about you. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's an eye opening moment too. So how do you help people? Because I know that you're, you're, you're helping people that are feeling the same way about their health and their family's health. How do you help them? So in helping people, it really is, it's not about the weight so much. Um, like I said, I, you know, I had become overweight, but I was clearly unhappy because of other things. And, and then you stress eat or, you know, or you just don't treat yourself well. Six cut chocolate covered granola bars a day for your food, nutrition intake. And let me tell you, if I was counting calories, I probably was right on target. But there's certainly a difference in the calories yeah. and, you know, <laughs> what, what they contain. There's no nutritional value whatsoever in these chocolate covered granola bars, which I would actually panic if I ran out because I was so, um, that was my life. And you know, I really just, I have the conversations with, with, uh, it's mainly women that I do work with and mostly moms because I, I get that. Like I get the pressures of working and raising a family and it's hard being a parent. You know, it's hard being a wife. Sometimes it's, <laughs> it's hard just being you some days and all the voices in your head. So really you know, I start with those conversations to figure out what's going on with people and, you know, where, where are they struggling? What, what is that struggle? Uh, a lot of struggles, especially with weight, typically start with something else. And so we work together to sort out, you know, what imbalances they have in their body and how we can support that through holistic ways through through herbal support and, and nutrients and supplements um, having been in the medical clinic for so long I've seen a lot and for the most part there is still a place in this world for traditional medicine 
your prescription medications, it doesn't mean that they should all be thrown out and, and everybody should become, you know, just eat dandelions. But at the same time, there's a lot of value in preventative measures, preventative, you know, you don't want to get the disease before you deal with it. You want to keep yourself healthy before that happens. And that's something that I wasn't really doing with myself. I did end up with a few additional health struggles because of my lifestyle. And I don't want other people to have to suffer that way, especially when it's not necessary. We really need to slow down a little bit, take some time for ourselves and look after if you're the mom in a family i mean even if you're the dad if you're a daughter whatever your roles are in life you cannot look after everybody in the ways that you probably want to until you're looking after yourself first and it is it is absolutely critical and so you know i work with with women in group programs in one-on-one -on -one programs to be able to help them see where they need the, the support. And, you know, sometimes they do need additional supports like, you know, psychiatrists and, and other counseling services, which is fine. You know, we need to go out and, and get the help from those who can help us a, instead of just suffering in silence. So true. So true. And where do you see yourself in five, 10, 20 years? <laughs> well, our house is on the market, so it's going to sell. And then I see ourselves moving, which is kind of a scary thing because we've been here for a lot of years and we have all the stuff from a family of four. Um, but yeah, I see myself moved. But as far as my health, you know, I see myself healthier in five and 10 years than I do right now even because, you know, I have the awareness, I have the knowledge of what needs to do. We just need to take the time to implement these things you know, create the new lifestyle habits, commit to them. And sometimes it's hard and we, you know, we fall off the wagon, if you will. And mm -hmm. we have to just get back to it. I also see myself having, having helped a lot more moms, a lot more families. And to me, it is so important to help people. And that's something that I saw through the clinic over the years I was there is I was part of the team that helped support people's um, health, their healing. Um, and, you know, I want to support people through that. And I'm able to do that in a bigger way in a different role now than what I had there. Because there, I mean, you've got the doctor. I did a lot of things for a lot of people. But at this point where I'm at, I can help at a completely different level. And I'm super excited to be able to do that. And, you know, improve the life of, you know, for my family, our health, as a whole, um, our finances, and also help other people do all those things too. It's really exciting. Yeah. And I want to touch on something you said a minute ago, that it takes time. You don't get in the bad health or overweight overnight. And people expect to start doing one thing and boom, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm, I'm going to lose 10 pounds this week and we're going to be done next year, you know? So, um, yeah, it's very important that they know that, you know, it's a, it's a journey. Even, even you have come so far, but you've got so much, so much further to go. I love that. Yeah, ab absolutely. I, I think that I, I've done all these quick fix overnight type of, uh, of uh, programs or adventures, and they, they're not all they're cracked up to be because ultimately – it took a long time to build up the habits, build the lifestyle, and, and we really have to change it. And one, one thing, um, as, as an example, I decided, and I don't remember what my process was at the time, but I'm like, okay, you know, instead of having ground beef in our home all the time, we're going to start having ground turkey. Great. So I make a, a usual meal that I make with, that I used to make with ground beef, I make it with ground turkey. And I present it to the family and they're like, this, this meat in here is too light. I'm not eating that. This tastes different. What is it? Oh my God. And they refuse. Like, they're just like, I'm not eating it. And I was like, yeah, I know it tastes different, but you know, we're going to be healthier now. This is, this is going to be a, you know, um, and I'm not saying ground beef's not healthy. Um, there was just, we were eating so much beef. I just wanted to implement uh, other 
protein sources. And so what I ended up doing was the next time I made the same meal, I used like 90% ground beef and 10% ground turkey. And I slowly brought down the percentage of the beef in the dish and I brought up the amount of the turkey. And in time, that was the transition. That's how we needed to get from one place to the other. And it was not overnight. Oh my gosh. So yeah. a few <laughs> months later, I had made the same dish and I'd had found some ground beef that we hadn't used up yet. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make it. And everybody ate it and they're like, I don't like this. This tastes different. <laughs> what did you do? Okay. It's the same thing that you did six months ago and you're doing it now, but it's different. Why is it different? Because of that gradual change in our lifestyle of that particular dish. And they, you know, they were transitioning. So we have to be patient with ourselves in, in all those things. And we have to allow ourselves grace. Um, it, it may not always be a pretty adventure as we're yeah. becoming healthier, but what's so important in doing that is having the right supports in place. You need to be surrounded by the right people. Definitely. Yeah. That has been, that has been huge for me is having people like you, Shauna, you know, and many other people who are there for me that will support me, not just in like, hey, I feel like eating six donuts. Can you help me? There's other things that go on in our lives that this is integrative. This is everything. This involves our relationships with other people. Uh, it involves, you know, having hobbies, uh, some spirituality of some sort, um, you know, your job. There's so many other elements that come into uh, overall health that it really is not only about what you eat or how much you exercise. Right, right. Not all about the calories either. It's about no. what you're eating, the quality of what you're eating. And, and I'm glad you brought that up. I was going to actually ask you, what does integrative even mean? You know, but yeah. you, were, you were explaining that well. So that does, is it. Yeah. How does holistic wellness, you know, help someone losing weight? Because a lot of people are like, well, that's what I'm struggling with most. I need to lose weight. You know, how... Just speak on that for a minute. Absolutely. Um, this is one of my favorite things to speak on because uh, when we start getting so focused on weight loss and that is our main goal, we forget about a lot of other things. And I did this. I did this many times. I did this uh, and won a local Biggest Loser contest doing this because it was about the weight loss. It was about the percentage of body weight and whoever, was, whoever got the most percentage of body weight lost in that certain, I uh, can't remember now if it was like six, eight weeks maybe. And then you would win money. And I'm like, oh, I wanna win. <laughs> so I got to the point where my nutrition was horrid because I was not eating near enough food because I was so obsessed with losing weight and I exercised three hours a day. Well, working probably between eight to 10 hours a day and having, you know, a family to look after and other things going on. I was obsessed with my weight and I lost a lot of weight. I won this contest. It was great. I looked in the mirror and I still saw myself as the bigger person. I still was the same size in my, in my mind and in the mirror, I was still the same size, even though I was like this now. And this says a lot about mindset. Um, holistic health really brings in a lot of mindset. Uh, but as far as weight loss, when weight loss is the focus, we tend to not um, pay attention to the other important things that we need to. And if our bodies are out of balance, if there's things not working, if our hormones are out of balance, if we've got organs that just aren't working the way they should, um, our gut, if you know if we don't have good gut health, where we're not releasing toxins, it all works together, integrative. And when things are in balance and you're, you're happy with other areas of your life as well, your relationships, your work, your hobbies, all those other things are all balanced. Now, everybody's balance is different and what, what's balanced one day could be a little bit different the next day. But generally speaking, when all of those things kind of come together and you're feeling really good about all those parts of your life, 
And at that point, when you're eating well, you're moving your body, you're sleeping well, the body is working as it should, the weight loss comes organically. It just comes along for the ride because the body says, hey, this is, I'm, I'm working like I should be. And if we don't look after everything that way, that's foundational. And until that's our starting point, we can lose weight all we want. And I don't know about you guys, but I've done the roller coaster, obviously. I mean, I was 200 pounds. I was 129 pounds. Like, I have been everywhere. And what has happened is how that affected me very negatively because then I thought, wow, I was 129 pounds. I'm such a loser. I'm 140. Or, you know, man, I suck because now I'm 180. And we don't need those conversations in our head. Yet, that's a very real feeling. Yeah. It is very, very real to be frustrated and annoyed and not to want to try anything ever again. But the key is to try the right things. And because everybody's body is different and everybody responds differently, there isn't a program that everybody should be on exactly like this. Everybody has to do yoga. Everybody has to run marathons. It's not like that at all. Um, what I love about what I do is that I can work with people and come up with a plan that works specifically for them and their body and their lifestyle so that they yeah, can have, if, it, if it's the weight loss that they're hoping to have, you know what, let's take a step back and work on those other things and that weight loss is going to happen. But you have to, you have to trust the process and you have to give it time. If it happens overnight, it's going to be reversed overnight. Yep. For sure. So one um, off topic question, house, desk, or car, which would you clean first? What are my options? <laughs> your house, your desk, or your car? What would I clean first? Um, our cars are always spotless. Wow. Like you could eat off of, oh, they're always, yeah, they're always waxed. They're always spotless. Seriously, our cars are always clean. Mm -hmm. And my husband cleans those. So I, I'm going to take that one right out of the equation. Mm -hmm. um, what would I clean first? Probably my desk. Because yeah. when I'm working, um, I, I am okay with the dust bunnies that reside in my living room. But I am not okay when they're living on my desk and, and I have the clutter and that's another great point about uh, yeah. like <laughs> holistic health and is the clutter in our lives because it really has a negative effect on us. Um, so ideally, you know, for me, a clean workspace is really important. Um, the cars are looked after and honestly, yeah, the, a clean house. Yeah. Is that, that's kind of funny. I, I seen a picture one time where it showed, a, a guy's house and a guy's car and the car is spotless and the house is a mess. But on the other hand, a girl, a girl, she's, her house is going to be clean and her car is going to be a mess. And that's exactly for one of my daughters. Exactly. I mean, she is like, she would wake up and this is, I'm hoping she doesn't watch this. She would wake up with a broom by her bed and she would sweep <laughs> as soon as she hit the floor. But her, her car was just piled up and everybody, um, laughed at her about that but anyway that is so oh true gosh. the area around you if it's cluttered you're you're cluttered and not on task you know that day so no no <laughs> well I want to thank you so much for doing this interview with me today there were so many great nuggets that I'm gonna have to go back and watch them myself too <laughs> So thank you again. I do have an event in my journey and wellness community about holistic wellness products that have been helping me, my family, my clients, shares, shares clients, her family, so many different things, you know, like she's mentioned hormones and stress, allergies, energy, sleep. Um, if you'd like to, me to add you, just comment event, E-V-E-N-T below. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for having me. See you. Bye.